And welcome back, rugby fans, to Rugby 411. As always, I'm your host. My name is Joshua Shibata, and this is the last preview video of the 2024 regular MLR season because this is week 18, the last week of the season. Uh, I'll be honest with you, there's, you know, a little bit left to play for. Uh, Western Conference completely locked up in playoffs. All the teams have been determined. It's just the Eastern Conference. There is some movement that could happen um, depending on how the way things go. So that does make it a little bit interesting to try to figure out how teams are going to approach this week of MLR action. Also, too, we do have two weeks after this the last week of the season before we actually start the playoffs because USA, Team USA, the Eagles will be playing against both the National Scotland Scotland team and the Romanian team um, here in the United States, which of course I'll be doing preview videos of those games. So because of that, and we are taking a lot of players of the 30-man roster that was announced, 24 of those players are current MLR players. So to not impede on the playoffs, which is a real smart decision, um, in other countries, you do see a lot of the top players end up leaving for international competitions, which kind of throws things in a little bit of a, of a mess. In MLR, they decide just to give it a little bit of a rest, which is perfect right at the end of the season. Don't have anybody have to worry about losing their top players to go play against uh, international teams, wait for them to come back, and then we're going to start the playoffs. So it also lets teams kind of rest. So again... It's going to be interesting to see how these teams approach this last week of the season. Just like in regular pro American football, when teams have locked up their playoff spots, the last week, the last two weeks tend to be kind of interesting, especially when it comes to fantasy aspects, if you're a fantasy football player like myself. Um, so we'll review and see how it goes with this one. Um, again, you can watch all these games live and on demand, except for two of them, which are going to be on Fox Sports 2. On the Rugby Network, if you haven't seen it yet, if you haven't downloaded it yet, it's absolutely free. You can watch every game. If you're trying to catch up in the next two weeks after this, so all the games of the season, you can actually do that with the Rugby Network. So, first we start with Friday Night Footy. Friday, June 28, 2024, the one game of the weekend that's on Friday, 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time kickoff. We have Rugby Football Club LA taking on the Utah Warriors at... Zion Stadium in Utah. You can watch this game on Fox Sports 2. So again, if uh, if the game is on Fox Sports 2, you have to wait 24 hours later before they will air that game on the Rugby Network. Otherwise, watch it live on Fox Sports 2. Um, you know, before this last weekend, I thought this game was pretty much a, a gimme for L.A., uh, LA has beaten Utah in their only prior appearance as 36 to 32, which was uh, the first home game win for LA. Um, but now things have changed. I mean, granted, again, Utah going into this week, into last weekend, was on a six-game losing streak. Um, LA hasn't fared any better, losing four of their last five. But man, Utah putting on a try fest performance against Dallas. I, now I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if LA will be able to play against Utah. Both teams have nothing to play for. Both teams are the two teams that have been eliminated from the Western Conference. So it's going to be interesting to see how they approach this. Does Utah bring out the firepower knowing that this game won't matter? Does LA even try knowing that this game doesn't really matter? Um, Utah does play a lot better at Zion Stadium because that stadium is loud, just like uh, Starfire Stadium is for Seattle. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm going with my gut with L.A. because they are my home team. But I'll be honest, I don't feel really great about it. So we'll see how that turns out. Then, moving on, the rest of the games are on Saturday. Saturday, June 29, 2024, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, these next two games, they have a pretty bit, a bit of correlation with each other. So we'll, we'll kind of review them together. Anthem is going to go against the New England Free Jacks to reigning defending MLR champions at Veterans Memorial Stadium, while two hours later, that's important, two hours later, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time kickoff, Nola Gold takes on Old Glory DC. Now, here's the thing. Anthem is out, no problem. The other three teams are in, but New England and Nola are still fighting for that top spot in the Eastern Conference. If 
New England loses to Anthem and Nola wins, Nola gets that number one spot. If New England at least gets a tie, then technically Nola could take the first place spot. Um, they're going to need to get five points at least. Or if they win, they need to win by more than 23 points to oversee the point difference with New England, which is not out of the realm of impossibility playing against Old Glory. Now, Old Glory, on the other hand, they are fighting, technically, for the third place spot. They are the number four team. They're just behind Chicago by three points. So if Old Glory at least wins and Chicago loses, then Old Glory can take that third spot. Now, again, the, um, the NOLA and Old Glory game starts two hours after New England game. So if New England wins... Technically, NOLA has nothing to play for because they will not be able to get the first place spot regardless of how much they win by or if they win. So will NOLA really try knowing that their spot is pretty much secured at number two? That's going to be the question. Um, of course, Old Glory, unfortunately, has the, the unfortunate luck. Their game starts at the exact same time as the Miami-Chicago game at four. So Old Glory kind of has to keep playing regardless in the hopes that they can try to secure that third spot. But again, NOLA, if New England wins, NOLA, their game makes no difference. Win, lose, draw. So will NOLA really try knowing the results already of the New England game? Because New England game should end around the time this game starts. So that's going to make things kind of interesting on the betting side. Uh, let's just take the, the easy parts out. New England obviously will beat Anthem. That I don't think there's any question about. But will NOLA even try if New England does beat Anthem? That's the hard part. Now, if we go into the, the history of NOLA and Oglory, it's actually kind of interesting. NOLA has beat Oglory six times. Oglory has only beat NOLA once. Once and that win was back in 2023. They also have a draw, so Nola's pretty much been dominant in the history between these two teams. Nola, like I said, has been the hottest team in the league outside of Houston. Five of the last six were wins. Um, Old Glory, three of the last six are wins, but Old Glory always plays teams very hard. So again, it's going to be interesting. Nola may have nothing to play for. Old Glory still has a lot to play for because if Old Glory does get that fourth spot and New England does win, technically Old Glory has to face New England. Now, Old Glory does tend to play New England really well, but does Old Glory really want to risk the chance of their first team opponent in the playoffs being the reigning defending MLR champions or possibly be able to get that third spot and possibly have to play a rematch with NOLA because NOLA is the number two team. If Oglor ends up being number three, they will rematch each other um, in the playoffs. So it's it's going to be interesting to see how we go with that. I kind of don't want to make my decision now of what the points are, of who's going to win just because there could be a huge difference. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to go with the hot team and just say that NOLA ends up winning and continuing their streak of beating Old Glory alive. And now let's go over the rest of the games on the weekend slate, the last three games of the 2024 season. Uh, the before-mentioned 4 p.m. Uh, kickoff game between Miami and the Chicago Hounds at SeatGeek Stadium. Again, Miami, unfortunately, did not make the playoffs. Chicago's still in. Chicago's still fighting for that third-place spot. If Chicago loses and Old Glory wins their game, Chicago will drop down to number four, thus having to face the reigning defending MLR champions, the New England Free Jazz, which I'm sure Chicago does not want to do. Now, Chicago's been doing pretty well since unfortunately losing their head coach, Sam Harris. Uh, Two-game win streak, and those last two wins got them into the playoffs, which again makes the firing of Sam Harris very, very peculiar. But uh, Chicago looking really good. Miami, of course, has been really good as well. Won four of their last six. Just missing out on the playoffs, even though they did beat Old Glory in their last game. Um, you know, again, Miami doesn't have much to play for. Chicago really does. I don't think Miami is not going to take this game seriously because they 
they take everything seriously. But I still think Chicago, because they have so much more to play for, they're definitely going to try their best to win, to hold on to that third place spot, to possibly have to avoid New England. Now, the next two games uh, are basically previews of the playoffs, ironically enough. 5 p.m. Pacific Center time, we have a, a huge Texas rivalry. Dallas Jackals taking on the Houston Sabercats at Sabercats Stadium. Um, basically, uh, two weeks after this, they're going to play this same game again at Houston Stadium. Uh, at Sabercats Stadium because Houston is the number one spot team. Dallas is the number fourth ranked team in the Western Conference, so they will play against each other again. This game has nothing, has no effect on the Western playoffs. So it's going to be interesting to see how these two teams and then the following two teams, how they approach this game. Because again, this game has no bearings on how things turn out. These two teams will have to play against each other again. They will have to play at Houston Sabercast Stadium. So I don't know if Dallas is going to try. I don't know if Dallas is going to want to rest some players and then go into the two-week bye. I don't know if Houston's going to want to rest players, go into the two-week bye. Maybe both teams rest players. So really, it's a it's a hard game to determine how it turns out. Um, where they are right now, Dallas has won two of their last six. Houston, again, had a huge eight-game win streak that was just snapped by San Diego. Uh, these two teams played against each other earlier this season. Houston won barely 30-27. to Dallas has never beaten Houston. Out of the five times that they played against each other, it's all been Houston. And I don't think that changes. I think Houston will still win this game. I don't know by how much. I don't know how serious this game is going to be played out. Because again, they're just going to have to do it again in the playoffs in the first round. Then, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, the one of the most stored rivalries in the history of MLR, Seattle Seawolves, the two-time, two-time MLR champions, take on the San Diego Legion. Um, again, this has been a huge rivalry, especially going into the playoffs as well. They will have to play against each other again two weeks later, except it's going to be flipped where it's going to be at Starfire Stadium instead of at um, Snapdragon Stadium. So... Again, I don't know how this game is going to play out. I don't know how serious these teams are going to take it just because, again, the, the, whatever the score is, whoever wins, makes no bearing on the playoffs that they'll play against each other two weeks. It won't, deny, it won't change the fact that they have to play in Seattle in the playoffs. Uh, interesting fact, this rivalry, Seattle is up 8-7. to seven. They, last won, they last won the game that was played earlier this season, 25-19. Of the games that were played, 15 of them, all the games have been won by the home team except for four of them. So 11 of the games have been won by the home team. The Seattle game earlier this season was won by Seattle in Starfire Stadium. So by that logic, San Diego should technically win this game because they're at home. And so because of that... I will go with San Diego, who have been pretty hot after beating Houston. Um, but again, it's going to be hard to call just because they this game really means nothing. So, with that being said, if you're in my Super Brew Pick'em Pools, good luck. It is the last week. Um, everyone is chasing after uh, GZS. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how these games play out because, again, especially with the Western Conference, nothing really to play for. Eastern Conference still has a lot more. But either way, it's going to be an exciting weekend of uh, Major League Rugby. Oh, by the way, the Seattle-San Diego game is also going to be on Fox Sports 2. So again, if you want to watch that one live, you got to watch it on Fox Sports 2. Otherwise, you have to wait 24 hours later to watch it on the Rugby Network. So, hey, I really do appreciate you guys watching these videos, these pick -em videos. This is going to be the last one of the 24th season. Obviously, I will do preview videos of the playoff games in a couple of weeks. But this is the last one for this 2024 season. Uh, don't forget, next week also too, when I review the last week of, of MLR action, I will be doing my uh, comparison with my all too early pick em, uh, um, uh, my pick em results and who I thought would end up going into the playoffs. Um, just by memory, I don't think I did very well, especially with the NOLA pick. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that turns out. Again, thank you very much for watching my videos, being supportive this whole entire season, and I'll see you on the pitch.